my channel and welcome back to another day of 12 days of Christmas in July. Ah, every time I say that, it's like I'm out of air. <laughs> okay, Christmas in July, my very first time and um, I do have a couple projects already uploaded. My desk is very dirty. So I could not even push it aside anymore because the sides are just full of stuff. <laughs> so this time it's just going to be a project chair because I did this without you. And look what I made. I made a big jelly nutting tag as always on my pizza packaging. I love this. You know, you must think I eat so much pizza, but actually I was collecting the packaging way before I started um, mixed media because I just love the thickness and this, this side is actually, I'm loving it because it has this weird, it's not really texture, it's kind of a weird look. Yeah, so I was collecting it and collecting it, not knowing what I'm gonna do with that. And now I'm doing all of my mixed media stuff on it. So this is my project chair for another day. And I made this girl already. I believe I uploaded the video, I should have. So I will link it over there <laughs> on top <laughs> so you can go and check out how I made the girl. The girl is really, really pretty. I loved how her dress came out. That was the first time that I layered cheesecloth and um, I forget the word because it's early morning, but you all know that. So this is how it looks like. The background though, it's mixed media mashup with Stacy. Every Wednesday she does a game and it's um, life. So she's doing a live stream and she's giving us 10 prompts and we all work together and everyone uses their own and um, the pieces come out super different. They come out completely different. If I don't forget, I will link her channel down below. It's always Wednesdays. It's around 5 to 6 p.m. Pacific time, but, um, you know, she also has a Facebook channel and she announces her lives there. So you can come play. It's really, really cool. I can't believe I didn't play for the longest time ever and I started so late, but now I join every Wednesday. So she gives prompts and I do remember that the first prompt was to put some paint onto the cardstock with a brayer. If you don't have a brayer, you use a credit card. So I have paint down there, as you can see, a little bit. <laughs> there is some paint down there. And then I remember there was die cuts or um, punch out. So I did punch out the snowflakes and I put them on top. There was also um, put a napkin down and I used this one. A friend of mine sent it to me. Thank you so much. It's so beautiful. I have two left because I had to... Um, cut them off on the sides. So I used the napkin and you can still see it here. It's all really, really cool. And then one of the prompts was to put dots on it. So I have dots or um, use a crayon. So I melted one for the very first time in my whole life. I melted one. It looked so cool. It, you know, the dripping. So this is all a crayon. It's just this. I got it. So I can do something with that, but I never melted one. I always saw people melting it and I thought, ah, but it was so much fun. I'm going to melt them all now. <laughs> Trust me. Next time I go play mixed media mashup and it says like use green or red or blue or whatever, I'm going to melt another one because it was so much fun. I just had to hold my heat tool on top of it and it was just dripping all over there was also used purple and I have some drips as you can see. So there is a lot of layers. And then we had a poodle pass. So I did put the sticker on top and use black. So I went with the black paint around it. I wanted it to stand up a little bit. I was thinking to go um, around her as well, but then I liked her as she is. So yeah, this is my project for another day in Christmas in July. 
and I feel, <laughs> I feel <laughs> like it's really good, even though I did make this project end of June, but I do need to pre-film my videos so I can upload them for you in July every day, because otherwise it's not going to work. I'm not feeling good every day. There is a day I feel good, then I can film one, two, three videos maybe, and then there will be three days I don't feel good at all. And that's the only way for me to uh, make commitments. I have to pre-film stuff. Same, I hear a lot of people saying, oh, I cannot do swaps because I don't know when I'm going to feel good, you know, and if I commit to a swap, I'm afraid I'm not going to feel good. So I always say just make something first and then look for a swap. This way you are not going to be overwhelmed and you can still participate. So that's what I do. If I have a commitment, if somebody, you know, like says, um, I want to sw do a swap in August and it's going to be mermaids, then I do not commit to it unless I have mermaids done already. So I hope that makes sense. Yeah. So this is what I wanted to share with you. I think it came out really, really pretty. I'm not quite sure what to do to the backs of my pizza packaging. You know, I might just get white paint or something and paint over it. I don't know what to do. I did try, where is it? So on some of them, I did glue a piece of paper down, as you can see, and this is just leftovers from my um, mixed media project. So if I put something on the project and there is a leftover of paint or whatever, I always put it down on a piece of paper like this. And at the end, <laughs> It looks completely different so it's it's a project in itself but it you know it just comes out to be whatever it is I glued the paper down but I don't know if I like it that much because it's kind of I don't know it looks interesting and I'm afraid that it's gonna come off here so if you have an idea please let me know in the comments what can I do to the back because I also tried to put um, I don't see it here right now but I have one or two where I tried to stick napkin down. Here, for example, I did do one layer, but I would have to put a lot of layers. And then again, it's going to end up not being good. So I'm not quite sure what to do to the backs. Or should I just leave the backs? But then, you know, I don't know how that looks like. I'm trying to see if I have anything. Nope. <laughs> every back I have of every art I made... <laughs> <laughs> it looks like this. <laughs> it's some some kind of packaging in the back. I tried one like this to put it onto. You see how bent it is? Because I did the project on this side. Because I thought, hey, if I do it on this side, so I can use the pretty, pretty side in the back and I don't have to do much to it. But then it curls up. Even though I did use gesso and everything, it just keeps curling up. I don't know. I don't like that because I really want it to be straight. Yeah, too much talking. That's not even, you know, connected <laughs> to 12 days of Christmas in July. But yeah, there it is. By the way, we do have um, little challenges on our Facebook group. So I always have a link in the description. Join it. We have our weekly challenges now. And um, yeah, you can win something at the end of the month and um if it goes well we're just gonna keep it we are running a trial <laughs> kind of so if people participate then we're gonna keep it and do the giveaways every month and if not then not <laughs> and i do it with my bestie becky she has a channel as well i have her channel in my description all the time as well so yeah come on over join us play with us it doesn't have to be mixed media it doesn't have to be pocket letters it doesn't have to be a card anything anything you like to do you can do so we don't have a certain direction even though we mostly have one pocket letter swap um every month but you don't have to participate in that okay i hope you enjoyed my project for this day in july I'm loving it. I'm not quite sure what to do with them yet. <laughs> I was thinking maybe make a huge card, you know. I could make a huge card. That would be maybe pretty. This is probably too big. Oh, look. It would kind of fit. If I cut off a tiny little bit, I could fold it and glue it on top and make a huge card. How about that? Let's try. Just because 
as you all know, my videos are not pre-planned, so whatever happens, happens. But look at this. It might even fit on there. <gasps> look, that would be a very pretty card. All I need to do is just to cut off a tiny bit on the top, as you can see. And then I could glue it on the card. Wow, that would be a really pretty card. You know, you cannot buy this in a store. Maybe I should make some cards. Ha! And thinking about that, maybe all my next projects are going to be cards. Yay! <laughs> okay, so also at the end, I want to say that I do have a Amazon store now. <laughs> I don't sell the products. Amazon still sells them, but I just put my favorites into the store and you can check them out. And if you like something and buy something, it doesn't cost uh, more for you. And I get like 2% or something commission and I can buy more stuff to make more art, which is good <laughs> because then I'm going to make more videos and it's a win-win because you are not paying more. So Thank you for everything you do for me. Thank you for your support. And um, I hope you enjoy your day. Thumbs up, share, subscribe as always. And I see you soon. Bye-bye.